applying a wash or shading a miniature is a fantastic and simple way to add realistic depth, shading, and contrast to a model. We're going to show you today how you can do that using two products from the Army Painters Quick Shade range. First, we're going to show you how to use our acrylic quick shade washes. Quick shade washes are designed to quickly create spectacular depth and contrast to your miniatures in a controlled fashion. With 11 basic quick shade options and three additional quick shade skin tone options, you have virtually every color and shade at your disposal. These washes are 100% mixable and are the go-to wash for amateur and professional painters all over the world. We're using quick shade blue tone over the blue armor and robes on this men at arms model from Parabellum Games. You notice the wash is beginning to pull too much. You do want it to wash into the recesses, but if it's pulling too much in certain areas, just go ahead and take your brush and begin wicking it away, moving it about the model. Now our quick shade washes have a slightly longer drying time than our acrylic war paints, which enables them to be a little bit more workable for instances like these. We'll move on to applying some flesh tone over all of the fleshy skin colored areas on the model. On this model, it's just his face. And then we'll use strong tone all over the remaining areas on the model. While using a controlled approach with multiple different colored washes is great for important characters or monsters in your army, sometimes you just need to get the job done. For rank and file minis, the perfect solution is to apply a single coat of either quick shade dark tone, strong tone, or in this case, military shader over the entirety of the model. Once the wash is dried, you'll notice it has darkened down the model a bit. Now you can go back with your original base coat and apply a highlight, leaving the wash in the recesses. We call this painting inside the lines, and this is a very simple way to make your models pop a little bit extra on the tabletop. You can get even more time for gaming when you dip into the original quick shade dipping method. This is actually the first product that the Army Painter ever released and it revolutionized the way people painted miniatures and entire armies. After base coating your model, you'll carefully open your can of quick shade. Stir the quick shade as shaking will create unpleasant air bubbles, so don't do that. Dip the entire miniature into the quick shade dip. Don't panic. We know it looks a bit messy at the moment, but just trust the process and the results will pay off in just a couple of hours. Once you've completely covered the model in the dip, turn it over and allow the pigments to work their way into the recesses of the model. Then shake your model in a whip-like motion to remove any of the excess quick shade. This step is messy, but a lot of fun. Be sure to wear some old clothes or a coverall like me. Allow the quick shade dip to dry for 24 to 48 hours depending on the temperature and humidity. Once it's completely hard to touch, it will dry to a glossy finish. You can dull it down with our anti-shine matte varnish spray. Just follow the instructions on the can for best results. You can see how our quick shade products are a miniature painter's best friend. They allow war gamers of all kinds and skill levels the ability to get really great results really fast. In the next part of this how-to series, we're going to show you how to very simply and effectively pull off some really cool thematic special effects with the War Paints effects means.